My dear brothers and sisters, today we find people arguing with one another, fighting between one another. We find brothers, siblings, fighting and arguing, even going to court. And I'm not talking about non-Muslims or Kufar, we're talking about Muslims. They argue and fight between another, one another, and for what? For simple worldly matters, for issues related to this dunya. And what is the dunya? And what is the Islamic stance towards this dunya? The word dunya comes from the word dunu, which means something low, something with very low value. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah Al Hadid, I'lamu anna al hayatu dunya la'ibun wa lahwun wa zinatun wa tafakhurun baynakum wa takathurun fil amwali wal awlad. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in this ayah is telling us what this dunya is about, what this world is about. And he says, I'lamu anna al hayatu dunya la'ib. It is play. Wa lahu and idle matters, idle talk, wazina and beauty, and boasting between yourselves, and increase in wealth, in money, and children. The end of the ayah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, and what is this life or the life of this world except the enjoyment of delusion? Except the enjoyment of delusion. And a hadith collected by Imam al Tirmidhi, the Prophet وسلم, says If this dunya was worth in the eyes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the wing of a fly, the wing of a fly. If it was that much worth, the Prophet says that Allah would not have allowed a kafir or a non Muslim to drink from water. The fact that we see the situation today in today's world, it, it shows us that it's below that in the eyes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This dunya is not even worth a, the wing of a fly. So what is our stance as Muslims towards this? How should we be in this dunya? Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam says in a hadith collected by Imam al-Bukhari. Kun fi dunya ka'annaka gharib aw abri sabil. Be in this world as if you're a stranger or someone who's just passing by. Someone who's just passing through. Now, if someone is traveling and he knows that he is going to stay in one place for a short period of time because his final destination is somewhere else, logically speaking, will this person start to settle down? Will he start to make a business? Will he start to build a mansion for himself? No, it doesn't make sense because he knows that his final destination is somewhere else. He's not going to stay. It's only for a short period of time. Ibn Umar radiallahu ta'ala anhuma, the son of Umar ibn al-Khattab radiallahu an, he used to say, if you go to sleep at night, if you go to sleep at night, do not expect to wake up in the morning. And if you wake up in the morning, do not expect to see the night. This is how Ibn Umar is telling us to, to prepare ourselves. That yes, it is good to do the things that we do in this dunya and make as much use and advantage of the things that we have. But 
he's telling us always have the akhirah as your goal always have the akhirah as your goal and allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in surah al-ankabut وما هذه الدنيا ما وما هذا هذه الحياة الدنيا إلا له ولعب وما هذه الحياة الدنيا إلا له ولعب وإن الدار الآخرة لهي الحيوان and this dunya and this worldly life is not by but diversion and amusement and indeed the hereafter is the true and the eternal and the complete life وَإِنَّ الدَّارَ الْآخِرَةَ لَهِيَ الْحَيَوَانِ The hereafter is the true eternal life. This dunya is nothing but amusement and delusion. This, my brothers and sisters, this is the truth of this dunya. This is what the dunya is. And unfortunately, most of us, we strive and struggle for this dunya. And by saying so, I do not mean, my brothers and sisters, that we should completely denounce this world and reject everything in it and live in a cave somewhere in a mountain. La Allah. This is not the case. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran in Surah Al-Qasas to the Prophet sallallahu And do not forget your portion or your share of this world. And he says in Surah Al-Baqarah, وَمِنْهُمْ مَنْ يَقُولُ رَبَّنَا آتِنَا فِي الدُّنْيَا حَسَنًا وَفِي الْآخِرَةِ حَسَنًا And from them are those who say, O oh, our Lord, give us in this dunya good and in the akhirah good as well. So there is some khair, some benefit that we can have in this world. But the issue is once we start to make this dunya our end goal and our main aim in life, that's where we're going wrong. That is where we're going wrong, my brothers and sisters. Our main aim and our goal should be the akhirah. And whatever we have in this dunya should be the means that we use in order to get to our goal in the akhirah. But we are often deceived by the dunya. One of the most beautiful examples, and I've given this example a hundred times, of the reality of the dunya is the example given by Imam Ghazali rahimahullah about the dunya. He speaks about a man who's walking through the jungle. And whilst he's walking, he looks behind and he sees a lion chasing him. And he runs and he comes to a well and he jumps into the well. And whilst he's falling, he manages to hold onto some rope. And he breathes a sigh of relief and looks up, he sees the lion hovering over him, waiting for him. And he looks down and beneath him is a large serpent with his mouth open, waiting for him to fall. And the only support he has is the rope. And after a little to while, he sees a black mouse and a white mouse set upon the rope and they begin to nibble it. Above is the lion beneath is a serpent and the only support he has is the rope and now that's being nibbled at and in front of him he sees this honeycomb and he looks at this honeycomb and then he sticks his finger into that honey and he takes that honey upon his finger and he places it upon his tongue and the sweetness of the honey momentarily makes him forget the lion, the snake. Imam Ghazali rahimahullah says that the lion is death, which is always chasing you. The serpent is your grave into which every person will fall. And if he's a good person, it will be min riyadh al jannah, a garden from the paradises of, from a garden of paradise. And if he's evil, it will be a pit from the pits of Jahannam. And the rope is his life. And the black mouse denotes the night and the white mouse denotes the day. And they are always nibbling upon your life. And the honey is the dunya. A man tastes the sweetness of the dunya and he forgets death. 
he forgets the grave he forgets a day will come that he will die and he will have to stand in front of his creator and this is the reality of the dunya this world is a stepping stone is a means for us to attain what we want in the akhirah so there's a lot of goodness that we can take from this world but like i said my brothers and sisters this dunya is a delusion we can easily be fooled by this dunya because once we consume too much it becomes our main focus and we lose sight of the akhirah and we lose sight of our main goal which is to please allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and ultimately we are successful in the akhirah and we are granted jannatul al-firdaus insha'Allah ta'ala